Hey guys, welcome back. So I want to go over a few things today that I've been noticing on the market in regarding cybersecurity. One, there is definitely a lot more people understanding and knowing what cybersecurity is and how relevant it is within the organization. With that being said, it's the matter of all your executives are starting to understand how cybersecurity works or at least have a better understanding than they did a few years back. Because now it's all in their face. It's everywhere, right? Anywhere you turn, LinkedIn, Facebook, Reddit, anything on the web, uh, another company got scammed or another company got hacked or something like that along the lines. And people are reading about it. So they're more aware, right? So and then we have a whole month that's dedicated to cybersecurity, which is during Halloween month, which is the scariest time of the year. So with all that being said, more and more people are understanding it. More and more people are trying to get into it. But there is a downfall to all that. Unfortunately, even though there are jobs that are still open, very competitive, might I add, is that the salary that I've been noticing for even top tier senior executives are coming down. And I think... It's not so much just with cybersecurity, but I think the job market in general, because there were a lot of layoffs. So the employers or corporations have a lot to be, you know, a lot of people to pick from or a lot of people to choose from, especially with top talent. But there is a limitation to all that because now a lot of corporations are calling back hybrid or back into the office. So they can only hire within their regional area and they're not able to go across the United States onto the other side of the end of the United States to hire someone or mid states to hire someone. So a New York company based out of New York City, uh, as like myself, probably would not consider someone from Texas or California or Florida because those, de those days are pretty much gone. Uh, unfortunately, but I'm not going to say entirely. There are still companies that do full remote, but they're more rare now. And if they do, are you going to sit back there and wonder every single day if they're going to cut you first because you're not close to an office? And I've had that feeling happen to me before, and I made a decision not to stick around and wait to see if that will ever happen to me. So... Yes, I was a full-time remote employee, but I decided to venture off because they had a policy that called back in the office four days a week. And I decided, hey, if they could do that, then they can always have something against me. That's probably just the paranoia in me that they were out to get me. But um, I felt like the organization was great. The people I w was working with was great. I just didn't believe in the policy. Now, if you don't believe in the vision or the policy of a corporation or a company, it's probably time to move on as well. And for me, that was probably the breaking point. So my point of this video is that there are a lot more people knowing, understanding what cybersecurity is, all aspect of it. You can ask my grandmother, how to make sure she has a secure password or pin on her phone, she would know what to do now, especially in addition to going to the bank or logging into a, an account that she has with Facebook or whatever else that they use nowadays. So with that being said, kids as young as five years old knows how to operate devices and know pretty much the workarounds of putting in passwords, pins, accessing, what, so on and so forth. So if that is the case, then it's not as special anymore. I mean, everyone's just fully aware of it. So does that mean there's a lot more people getting into this, knowing this, right? And if that's the case, if this person knows how to do it, and there's like a hundred or a thousand other people that knows how to work this product, you know, whether it's like a, a firewall or, a, you know, a IDS, IPS, DLP, 
all those and the Sims and the socks and all that. There's so many people that starting to understand that whether you're a network administrator or just a help desk technician that knows how to log into the Sim and you start learning it, your, your knowledge is pretty much in the cyber realm. Now, if I was looking at someone and I wanted someone who was junior enough or probably have a year or two of experience. Now that's the key thing, right? Some of you guys are trying to get a job that have zero experience and that's the worst place to be because zero experience means I will be spending my entire day, eight hours within that day, assigning someone to walk you through this entire process. What I have been noticing is that there are more and more internships that are willing to gather these individuals who have somewhat of a relatable study in school, whether it's cybersecurity, information technology, programming, whatever it is, get that individual who's interested in this particular option or this field or this position and kind of lead them and train them up to where they should be as a ex more experienced individual, maybe a year or two at most, right? Usually internships last a, a good year. And that individual will be a potential hire for the company as time goes on. Because once that internship ends, the position usually opens back up. It's like, hey, we actually need this. We do have the budget for this role, but it's really, really low. And when I say low, it could probably be within 50,000 or 60,000. Definitely not the six figures that you're used to a few years back in regarding cybersecurity. Don't listen to any other YouTuber telling you that there's six-figure cybersecurity jobs for a junior sock person. It just doesn't exist. I, I swear it does not exist. So with all that being said, there are more people and there are more individuals learning and understanding cybersecurity. So your competition is really high now. It's like me walking down any town looking for an accountant, you're probably going to land one on each block or in a good radius of a mile, you're going to have a good amount of accountants because it's a field of study. It's been around and as things have been around and people need it as a service, it's going to be available, whether it's a car mechanic, a doctor, a lawyer, and accountants, right? Cybersecurity, IT guys, wireless guys, pen testing guys, it's a service. Companies are going to need it, for whether it's for regulations you know, purposes, consultants. It's going to be a good amount that's going to keep on building up year after year. Now, of course, when the internet boom just happened and people were trying to push out these all published websites, it was limited. Not everyone knew how to do that. But if you ask a junior high school student now, who's 10 years old, he could probably pub publish an entire Amazon replica in a matter of hours, if not even faster, with the use of AI, because there's a lot of resources out there now. So am I pulling down the cybersecurity job searching? Am I making you miserable? Am I making you sad? that all this exists? No, uh, it shouldn't be. But if you're good, you're good, right? And you can illustrate that, you could demonstrate that during an interview or on your resume, that's even better. But what my point is, there's no sugarcoating any of this. There is a lot of people in cybersecurity now. Point proven is that every college, any online college, any physical college that you walk into has a cybersecurity program just like how they have, maybe, most of them, just like how they have accounting, they have business management, they have basic law, business law, economic law, whatever it is. Uh, and cybersecurity is definitely one of those things that it's grown in popularity, that it grew so much that we've come to a point where there's a lot of people looking for positions and the salary is just not pushing it over to where it was previously. I am starting to see CISO level positions in, in top organizations offering about 
180,000. But previously, it would have been probably 230 to 250,000 for that same position. Entry-level SOC. And when I say entry-level SOC, that's probably one or two years under your belt. Would have easily been making 90 to 100,000. Is now come down to probably within the 65 to 75 range. And that's 75,000 USD. So there is, there was a bubble and I feel like it burst. And the level of what the organization are willing to pay for these individuals because the market is so saturated with so many people now that are unemployed. I literally have a friend that's sitting, possibly sitting on the chopping block by tomorrow because, he, and this person is in cybersecurity, but there was a one-on-one -on -one meeting called by the CIO out of nowhere. The CIO has never called a one-on-one -on -one with this person ever before. So I just want to say that if companies are willing to get rid of their higher paying salary cybersecurity professionals, they can. And they can definitely replace any one of those people with a much lower salary, which saves costs for the organization or the department and saves that budget money. That is the truth. And unfortunately, that is what's going on or what I have been seeing. Now, not everyone is going to go through the situation. Not everyone's going to be able to see that happen to them or know of someone that is happening to. But the reality is there are jobs out there, but there's also jobs who or there's individuals, candidates who are underselling themselves because they are desperate. All right. So this is the current job market that we're in. It's an employer's field dream. It's a dream of theirs right now. It's in their favor. And right now it's a market for the employer. So I just want to share that with you guys. If you guys feel like you have a comment um, to rebuttal what I'm saying, please, by all means, post it down below and, and I'll, I will definitely address it, whether it's through a video or I will comment back to see how you feel about this whole situation with cybersecurity as far as the job market. All right. I want to thank you guys and please hit that like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys again really soon. Take care.